Good morning, everybody. That's right. It's your boy, Real Talk with Roy, coming back at you from the lovely Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, as you can see by the thumbnail, W-2 Employee Appreciation Day. That's right. Today, gig workers, you need to go out. Thank your local W-2 employee worker for making your job a lot easier, a lot more manageable. I know we could, you guys come on YouTube, a lot of you. I defend W-2 workers because I am one, and uh, I, know, I know the deal. Um, a lot of you gig workers go out there. All you want to do is bitch and complain. Oh, they're not making my food fast enough. They're ignoring me. I was taking so long. Blah, 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 blah. It's nothing but bitch and complain about W-2 workers when you go to these jobs. But you need to realize, though, is without these W-2 employees, you wouldn't have a job. You wouldn't be able to do the things you do. Yes, they are human, just like you. They have good days. They have good bad days. Some days it might be working slower. Some days you get the ones that just want to jerk off, don't want to do their job. It is what it is. You do the same thing. You sit in your car, jerk off, play on your phone, do whatever. You have that luxury. And uh, W-2 workers, they're no different. They're all human. They all do the same shit. So, but the, the fact you guys need to realize that is the W-2 workers are the backbone of what you do. Because if it wasn't for those W-2 workers, you wouldn't have nothing to pick up. If nobody was sitting behind that counter making your food, you would have no food to pick up. If it wasn't for some of those workers in the grocery stores, uh, let's say Walmart, for example, picking those orders that you go and you get on YouTube and you fucking brag about all the fucking time, and then you're sitting there in your car whining, why ain't it getting here fast enough? Why is it not fast enough? Why am I having to wait? Um, if it wasn't for them people, guess what? You would be waiting a lot longer because you wouldn't have fucking nothing to do. Um, or you would have to get your fucking ass out of the car and go shop for it. But even then, it's still the workers that are the backbone of the company that stock the shelves, um, that uh, you know run the machines, that uh, you're able to ring your stuff up on. So, as a gig worker, maybe you need to go out today and say thank you to one of your uh, few of your W-2 employees that make your job a lot easier. I know a lot of you are going to complain about this video. Oh, they're this, they're that. Yeah, but they're the backbone. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have what you have. So maybe you need to show them a little bit more things instead of complaining and bitching about them all the time. Yeah, you're going to have bad apples, just like you got uh, door dashers shitting in bu uh, you know, buckets or garbage cans, kicking people's food around, um, pretending to eat their food or eating their food and cussing out customers because $5 wasn't enough. So, you know, you got your bad apples everywhere. It works in the W-2 world as well. But you got to also remember the W-2 world, they're the backbone of what you guys do. And you need to show them appreciation. So let's make it today W-2 Worker Appreciation Day. So go out there and uh, say thank you to your local W-2 worker. Uh, because, once again, without them, there's no you. All right? Remember, you are the creator of your own destiny. Nobody's going to do it for you.